Welcome back, survivors, uh, to not another episode of Cooney Hills. Today we're actually going to be doing a tutorial, but the tutorial happens to be on Cooney Hills because I can definitely use one of these. Now, a big shout out goes here to Midnight Designer because it's uh, he is the first channel I've seen it on. Apparently, he got it from the Broken Ankle Crew, and I heard of it a long time ago, and I just I never looked into it. I don't know why because this is such an invaluable tool. I kind of feel like a tool not bringing this forward to you guys earlier but what it is is a complete vanilla elevator that you can build on ps4 xbox or pc you don't need any special mods and it's really cheap and really easy to make now what you're going to need is you're going to need some trap doors and some patience um, either you're going to be going upwards through a build or you're going to be going downwards through the ground it doesn't matter it works both ways now this thing i want to cover first this is a lot of what I get from people. Uh, a lot of comments I see. You're you're trying to uh, you're trying to put a like let's say um, let's go like this. That's what we'll do. This here resembles the top of a hole. So we'll just go around like this, and people be all trying to put their hatch on the top, right? Because that's where it makes sense. You want your hatch to be up here, uh, so that you can get up through it. Now the trick with hatches is is it clips to the bottom of the block above it. Well, not necessarily above it, but this is sitting on the, the same block uh, that's that these ones are. So basically, if this has nothing to attach to beside it, it won't attach to another block. So you see it's sitting on this block. It doesn't clip to the top of the block. It clips to the bottom of the block. So in order to get one of these, you'll either have to put another frame up top and then put your, uh, and then put your <laughs> hatch in, or, what you can also do, which a lot of people do, and probably actually don't even notice they're doing, and that's why they get confused as to why this hatch isn't working. Uh, but if you take a ladder, per se, because say this is your uh, exit up to the top, you can actually go ahead and then put your frame on it because your, or your frame, your hatch on it, because it's sitting on the ladder. Now, if I were to destroy that ladder, of course, it will fall and break, and then you won't be able to have any. So that's just a general introduction to hatches. I know a lot of you already knew that, but a lot actually don't. I didn't know that for the longest time either. And another quick one here, guys. If you're making a drop pit, because I will discuss that in uh, today's video as well too, do not put this ladder at the bottom of the hay bale, because if you try to fall on it, you'll hit the ladder and not the hay bale, because the ladder takes up a whole block, right? So if you put a ladder here, instead of landing here on the hay bale, you're going to land on that ladder and it's going to do you some damage. So I just thought that'd solve a few mystery for you guys. Now, what I've done here is I've gone ahead and prepped a... Um, elevator up to the top now i haven't done it fully because this is just an example and i want to show you guys and kind of take an eye for myself because i do want to build an elevator complex in this place at least the separate floors now the one the only downfall of this uh, type of elevator is that you can't uh, select the well you could select the floors if you really wanted to but you'd have to run up there and open up um, a hatch and then run back that completely useless unless your friend was up there and he's like you know what come up to my floor and open it up and bam you're there but anyways this part is the real easy shiz so all you basically have to do is go all the way up and on every single block see i can't hit that one i'm gonna actually open this so i can pass through i can't hit that one because it doesn't have one at the back so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to hit that one up there. There we go. So now I have some hatches going upwards. Now this is the tedious part. What you need to do is... Oh, I can't do it because I'm uh, a little too low. But... Where can we do this here? Hmm. Got me a little bucket button hooked. Ah, there we go. I knew I did that before. It's like, what's going on here? Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually nerd pull up this way. And then every single time I go up, I'm going to add in a new door. Now... It doesn't really matter which way you face these. They can face any direction you want. Uh, it's just a matter of aesthetics. Like if you're, if you're picky about how it looks or anything, you'll definitely want to uh, make sure they, they all face the same direction. But you don't even need to look at these blocks at this point. All you can do is look straight down and place them on top of each other. They will place on top of each other if they do have that... Whoa, if they do have that block in behind it. I forgot this isn't supported down to the bottom. This is going to take me a little while to get to the top. What I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to finish this sucker all the way to the top. And then when I come back down, I'll pull these rebar frames out. And then we should just have a bunch of these left sitting out in the open. And I will show you guys 
how this bad boy works. I'll see you in just a moment. And we're back and I've got that all done. So what I've chosen to do with this sucker is I've left it open air. Now you can go and you can put sides in, you can encase it in glass if you want to, you can make it multicolored if you have the ability to do that. You can do whatever the hell you want with this elevator. It works, period. Um, even open air like this. As long as it has one side to hold on to, you are good to go. Now we've got this going all the way to the top. So without further ado, I'm going to show you motherfuckers. How to use this sucker so uh what i've done is i've chosen to actually take this out and put a rebar frame underneath it i don't know if it was the iron bars or the fact that the iron bars sit a little lower on the block but the elevator was working a little funky with it set up like that so i, I put it out and put a solid block underneath it just so we wouldn't have any more problems uh so your first step is to open that bottom door uh, don't put one on the bottom because um, if you go like this even if you're looking at this one and you, you try to open it it'll actually open the one underneath it which is quite frustrating but open that sucker up and get in it try to put yourself in about center close that door and I'm just kidding what you have to do now is you actually have to give her a good old jump and then once you jump Look at that. There we go. We're going upwards and up to the top we go. It was that quick. Right up, bottom to top, just like that. Let's do that one more time. That's actually so much fun. It takes longer to fall off of that than it does to go upwards. I mean, I should have been doing this a long time ago. This would have been a lifesaver. This is not This is a really easy way to get from bedrock to top. An easy way to get away from zombies in a hurry. Oh, we have to do that one more time. Uh, which direction should we look? This way? Yeah, let's look this way. We won't look out the window. We'll look forward. And if you can get this high enough, you actually do get that little bit of a view time where you're like, oh, cool. It looks like I'm moving upwards in an elevator. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> this is so neat. I love it. Oh, and look at that. And one last little bit of a jump and then I'm up. The uh, the dirt, how it goes like this on an angle. I'm going to open this for a second. Hey. Oh, shoot. Remember how I was telling you guys, if you try to open the top one, it's going to open up other ones beneath it? That's exactly what was just happening, I think. I don't know which one it was opening, but uh, it definitely wasn't opening this one or the one beneath it, so that's, that's a little funky. But if you have something on an angle like this, sometimes it'll catch you on your way up, and then you have to give it a double jump. Uh, now, to get this frame on, the, or this, uh, this on top, all I simply did was make a plate and then attach this to the plate because then the plate's sitting in the block above and it's actually it's it's pretty level if you look at it the plate and uh, the hatch I think that works out actually pretty nicely I've never done that before usually I just put a ladder in there but I was unsure with the elevator if the ladder would mess it up or not probably it would because well oh wait you know what I wouldn't even be able to stick a ladder in there because there's no space because that's taken up the block. Wow. Okay. Well I put that in there now there is many ways to do this sucker um, you can go down into the ground and do one hole, like let's say uh, do it one like that, do one more space, and then put a fall hole here with a hay bale at the bottom so you can fall down. Um, I guess you could put it right beside it if you wanted to, but it might be a little tricky. Uh, maybe if you put the hay bale up and then fall on the hay bale on top of this part and then go down again, that, that could work. That could definitely work. But for me, I don't need to do that because I have these shitloads of hay bales that are wrapping my whole entire base, which this side, I, I still need to go out a little further. Out front, it's a little further. Well, I'm not going to get into that. You guys can watch my Let's Plays if you want. Uh, if you guys are interested, all my Let's Plays are down in the description. If you have any more uh, suggestions for tutorials or anything you want to see, definitely let me know because I'm down for making more tutorials. I used to do this all the time, and then I got into the Let's Play thing, and... Uh, well, I really haven't made any tutorials lately, but it's uh, it's been a blast here, guys, and I'm really looking forward to incorporating this into my building more. But as usual, thanks for your support, guys. If you want to uh, see the channel grow, definitely uh, hit that share button. Let your friends know about the Vanilla Elevator, and I will see you in the next video. Stay classy. Remember, always back up those game saves. There's a mod tutorial in my description as well if you need to know how to do that. And I'll see you in the next episode, next tutorial, or the next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace out. Hit it, you bunch of dirty hippies.